Hey Planner friends, how's it going? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is The Man With The Plans. We are back to do a plan with me for a week of Monday, September 11th through Sunday, September 17th in my Erin Condren hourly here. This is the canvas one. And I'm gonna be using this fun kit that I actually got for the 13 years of CAD. You can see the little binder here. It says I'd rather be planning. There's a whole bunch of extra stickers in here that I may be using. We got the journaling sheet behind me, but what we'll be focusing on mostly are these guys. So I figured why not keep it bright, keep it fun, keep it festive. And so this is what we are going to use today to plan my week. I'm kind of excited. There's way more stuff in here that I'll be able to actually use, but um, who doesn't love a rainbow week? I am a big fan, so this is what we're gonna do. So I'll start with some of the date covers and whatnot and try to get things rolling here because there's so many goodies going on here. So this is actually a super fun week because I have a conference the first couple of days. So we'll be, I'll be up north doing a little bit of networking, skill building, all sorts of good stuff. I feel like a conference every now and again can really be value add, broadening your perspective, learning some new skills. It's it's something that I really enjoy, and so I'm super glad that we'll be heading up for a few days. And there's a nice group of us from my from my job that will be there all together, so it'll be nice to kind of get to know them a little bit more. Because it's hard when you're so busy with work and stuff; like it's not always it's not always feasible to kind of like get to know people on a personal level, right? So this is, I think, always a good choice. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is super cute. I love a good, I love a good color black. Like, this is just, you can't, doesn't get better than this. Cool, okay, throw those down. Let us find some date covers. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and maybe put down one of these and see how this will go. Ooh, that's fun. We'll go all the way across if I do. I say what the heck, just run it. I'll forget my seven o'clock hour. <laughs> no big deal. And we're going over the, uh, the the dashboards, but that's fine. I'll live. I think we'll use the other one. And the nice part of these is they, they're embossed, so they have like, I don't know, they like have a fun feel to them. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of odd, but let's see. Oh yeah, come on, that's so stinking cute. I'm not even mad. It's gonna bother me a little bit that like the greens don't line up, but we're still gonna color block it, I think, because when in Rome, you gotta color block. So first thing we'll do is throw in the weather for the week. We'll close this up for now, yeah. We'll zoom in a little and all that good jazz. All right, and so I'll just throw the temperatures up here. And by golly, while it might still be summer down in the cities, uh, the weather up at the resort that we're going to be at in northern Minnesota, up by Lake Niswa, is um, clearly thinking more fall. And I love fall, so I'm kind of not mad to be able to kind of break out a vest one of these days. Uh, really just like lean into the fall vibes. But then as you can see, the second we're back south in the Twin Cities, we are back up to almost 80 degrees on Thursday. Oof. Looks like the AC is staying on a little longer. Okay, on Saturday. All right, so got ourselves the temperatures. Let's go ahead and plan the week. So I'm at the supervisor's conference these three days, so I'm, I'm gonna probably just note that somewhere. But we'll start with using our nice big sticker here. Throw that right in the middle. And so this is the Supervisors Conference. Uh, it's got a lot of great content, and I, I think it's it's one of those things that I didn't realize I, I would enjoy going to so much. It starts super early. Breakfast is at 7.30, and then sessions go from about 8.30 to I think 4.30. or f So it's like a full day of stuff. Um, and then I will do breakfast. The nice part is, though, it kind of feels like you're back in high school or college, like, you know, you're meeting all your friends and colleagues for breakfast, and then you're doing a day of learning and development, which is kind of fun. So that does take me back a little bit. So there's a bit of nostalgia involved, I guess. But yeah, the problem is though, is that it's a normal work week for everybody else. So either you're gonna be, I know I can't, I don't disconnect very well, so 
I am going to try my best to focus on what's happening during the conference, but I know that I'll be checking my email and stuff as we go, so I'm going to need to really work on being mindful of not actually kind of getting lost in everything that's going on. So uh, I believe later on in the evening we're going to do dinner. And I think we might be skipping the dinner just because, I don't know, sometimes the food isn't great. So we're going to do pizza, and I'll just put pizza with co-workers. I think we're probably going to do that around 7. And then I would imagine we'll have a drink or two to kind of round out the night, you know? You gotta when you're, when you're on conference time. Alright, so now that that's dry, go ahead and put that down here. I'm missing my 7 o'clock hour, but that's okay. Um, and the one thing I'm sad to report is I think I pulled something in my leg. So in terms of running, we're going to be taking, I don't say a step back, but we're going to be taking a week off as we train for the marathon. I just know that I don't, I think I teared something and tore something in my calf and it's just not sitting right. So I really want to just be mindful and take some time to, you know, kind of move it along and kind of give it the chance to heal. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw down a checklist here in case there's like some work items that come up throughout the week that I wanna handle uh, throughout the day. Cause you know, I will probably have to work a little bit after hours, which happens. So we can leave that as a to-do list. But yeah, that's Monday. You'll notice there won't be a run built in there at all. Um, and that's okay. I am frustrated by being hurt but you know what sometimes you just gotta listen to your body and i just know right now that it's probably not the best thing for me to be running around so i am going to do that and take a seat and just let it let it heal a little bit and then if it gets any worse i'll go to the doctor so the next day we are gonna go have breakfast again i have to say all the food is included and like the food for the most part is really good at this place so i feel very lucky that we get to enjoy and like i don't know overindulge I guess. I just feel like you're never without coffee, you're never without food. It is just a great time for everybody so it's nice networking. It's one of those things that you don't get to do as often as you'd like and so when it does come up it's it's a nice moment so all right so we'll do a little of that. You know I did a smaller one that time that's okay. Everyone doesn't have to be exactly perfect does it? Maybe it does for you, but not for me, and it's my planner, so. But this kit is just so cute and so bright. I'm just such a fan. So, we'll do a little of that. And then we'll toss down one of these guys. And it's gonna match pretty closely to this set, which is fine. Okay. You know what, maybe I'll skip the or I'll switch the, the checklist. Yeah, there we go, see? That didn't come out straight. Ah! Okay. There we go, that's better. Then we'll add... Oh, you know what? They don't have a little one. That's okay. I'll throw this in here. Wake up and be awesome. Actually, let's put that up top. No, we'll just throw that in here. And then we had this thing, I don't know if this is a popular thing elsewhere, but it is a thing called the poker walk, which basically you like, you, it's like a little bit of, I wouldn't say it's a 5k, but you get kind of a, a card at each stop and whoever has the best hand in poker wins a prize. So that will be on the docket for um, Tuesday after the conference and before our dinner. So I think our dinner is at six, our reservation, so we'll have to be quick. But I've heard, I did it last year and it was super fun. It was also a gorgeous day last year, so I don't know what what it'll be looking like, but you know, we'll just uh, play it by ear. And then we'll add the pink Steve, right there, cute. Um, and then last but not least, we you choose the last night uh, dinner reservation somewhere. And so we're going to this restaurant called Antlers. It's supposed to be like their fine dining, but it's with about like, I think our party is six or eight. So I'm kind of excited for us to all go and kind of connect and laugh and have a great meal and a glass of wine and, you know, just catch up and really get to know each other on like a personal fun, not work level because, you know, 
it, everyone, everyone does their job, right? You know, but getting to know people on like a personal level as humans is just, I think it always helps. So that will be our dinner. And then at some point we'll probably have some cocktails back in someone's room or something, but I don't imagine it being too crazy. Okay, and then Tuesday is the final day. So we'll do breakfast again. And then we'll have to end up driving, right? So that's always fun. And then we'll throw one final supervisor conference sticker. And it ends, I believe, at 11.30. And then lunch is 11.30 to noon, or 11.30 to 12.30, and then everybody drives home. So, you know. So we'll throw that there. And we'll throw this down here. It says, it's a planner thing you wouldn't understand, which, classic. I'll throw a drive home sticker somewhere. Oh, upside down. <laughs> and then because I won't have really grocery shopped a ton before this, because I hate buying produce and stuff if I'm gonna let it sit in my fridge for a few days. Come on, you can get off. All right. So after lunch, we drive home. It's really right around here. I estimate that I'm probably gonna order takeout this night. I just, sometimes you just don't have it in you, you know? So I don't know what we'll get, but I'm gonna use, these are from Peanut Butter Taco, they say order takeout. I'll throw them down over here. It's like a similar yellow, and then I'm gonna use one of these Weft and Olive, the Chinese food containers, and just kinda toss that up over here too. But, not a heck of a lot happening. Um, I'm trying to think, what else is going on? I think that's gonna wrap up uh, Wednesday. I mean, again, this part of the week is hard because it's a conference. Um, but so we'll flip over, and now, oh, I actually have to go to work. So we have a lot of things. I feel like it's one of those things where you're like making up for lost time. So the first thing is I have a, a meeting in the morning around technology. Get right back into the swing of things. I don't know about you, but even though I'm a grown adult that has not been in school in like 10 years, um, I still feel like September is like back to school, so I'm like, okay, time to really get things going. Let's get everything ready. I don't know why I feel that way, but I just feel like that's how my body has been trained to function for a long period of time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We have a check-in at 10, so that should be fun. This is, I think, part of a newer program that has come under my area that I'm still trying to learn, and we brought on a staff person, and so that's been fun, trying to discover how best to organize and structure our work and deliver on things. I don't know. It's been, it's been an adventure. It's tough being the person that doesn't know how to get it all done, but at the same time, I've been really enjoying kind of working through it together with this person. So, you know, call it, call it exciting. Oh, we have our soups meeting. So this is like a big department-wide leadership meeting. It happens once a month. I actually really like them. They're helpful to kind of hear what's going on. They are kind of long though, so. I usually just grab myself a drink and a snack, and I don't have to usually update on anything at all, which is kind of fun. So I get to be nice and quiet and just listen in to all the other updates. Okay, I believe it's uh, 130 to, th no, one to, th 1 to 3, that's what it is. Okay, and then I think that's it. Oh, no, just kidding, I lied. I am meeting one of my friends for happy hour. We're trying this new place in Minneapolis called Millie's. It's like a wine bar and bistro, so I'm really looking forward to trying it out. I'm going with one of my really good friends, and we, we didn't get a chance to celebrate her birthday when it happened a couple weeks ago, so it's gonna be fun to kind of like catch up with her and see what's going on. Okay, so we'll throw this down at the bottom. There we go. I think we're meeting at five, so that should be fun. And it'll be good to see her, because it's been kind of a minute. I feel bad. Um, so I'll throw, actually, since it's a wine bar, we'll throw one of these little champagne flutes. Actually, you know what, can we do two? So it's like we're cheersing. That could be fun, right? Cool. Yeah, and then you know what I'll do? I'll take the last little cheers and toss that in here. I love that, that's so cute. Okay. 
Goodness, I crack myself up sometimes. Home is where the stickers are. Not something that's gonna fit. That's okay, can't, can't fit them all, and that's all right. It happens to the best of us. So Friday, I have a couple of meetings. All right, let's see. We're in teal, my personal favorite color. So first one is around process mapping, which is something that I've done for a number of years, but I think it's one of those things that unless you do it or understand it in your role like a lot, it's something that might seem a little bit foreign and actually might be something that takes away from your work. Um, but we've gotten pretty good around process mapping. Um, and so this I think is gonna be just like checking in and, and kind of giving a high level understanding of what it is that we've got going on. Um, and I think I'm gonna, we have to offer to help because that's what my area does, is kind of support, support folks in all of this work. So Friday, 10.30. Great. So yeah, what I didn't realize when I did my budget, which is if you want to see that video, it's linked over there, is that September is somehow a three paycheck month. So, you know, twice a year we get a month with three paychecks in it, which really just shifts normally like your payment schedule for stuff, but it does give you a chance to like really run with your income a little bit. So I didn't budget for that but it'll be like a whole extra set of income, which we love. Um, these are ancient stickers from uh, Chris Ann Designs when it was at Michael's a gazillion years ago. But hey, if it ain't broke, keep using them. Uh, I have one more meeting, I think, right? Let me see. I have two more meetings, lucky me. Uh, oh, just kidding, that one got moved. So then, instead of having a ton of meetings, I can throw a checklist down and then I can throw the other thing on there. Okay, cool. So we'll do this for my work. Oh, and that's what I forgot to do for all of these, is band off the 8 to 4.30 work from home thing, but oh well. Sometimes you can't get it all. And then we'll use this sticker here that says, I like to party. And by party, I mean stay at home and play with my planners, which is very accurate. Okay, so we'll do that. And then in the evening, I said it in last week and I can't really stop watching it. It's so addictive. Downton Abbey, um, it's so good. I will say, I, I do think this weekend, and I'm gonna make myself do it because it's just, it needs to happen. I am gonna start watching Ahsoka on um, Disney Plus. These are these cute little TVs, so I'm gonna throw one down with this because, I don't know, if you're keeping in the theme of CAD, you might as well gild the lily if you know what I mean. So this will be one of these. We'll do a TV. I think I had like a popcorn thing somewhere. I do, see? These are from Coffee Break Planner. I don't actually think she's, I think she just recently closed her shop, which is kind of sad, but that doesn't mean I can't use these adorable, oh, almost lost our snack. But yeah, see, so a little popcorn, a little Downton. There you go, that's fun. Okay, so then Saturday, obviously I was supposed to do a long run, not happening. Um, but what I will do is do something creative today. So I think we'll start with this right up here. There we go, oh, it's a little, there we go. Um, and then I'm gonna add the weekend sticker because, I mean, heck yeah. And then I did the twins recently at a game, so, this week, my friend Paul is a big fan of the Minnesota United Football Club. Um, and so I'm gonna be going to a game with him. Uh, Minnesota United. And they call themselves the Loons. So, I don't know, they're playing Kansas City. And it starts at 7.30, but I think we'll get there early because I know that parking is a nightmare, but yeah, hey, go sports, go sports. So, I think it'll be fun. I've never been to a game, and they've been around for probably about ten, uh, seven years here. Um, and so, I hear the games are actually really fun. And again, what's the worst that could happen? You have yourself a beer, you have some nachos, you watch them play a game. I think it'll be fun, so I'm putting that down as a good time. But then one of the things I will mark down is that we've got to get to... Um, Allianz Field. That's where it is. It's over in St. Paul, right off of 94. Not that 
that's a big deal if you don't live in the Twin Cities area, but... And Paul is nice enough to be picking me up, so that's, that's a lovely thing. Don't have to worry about driving. I think he even got a parking spot, the fancy fella, so like good for him. And then in terms of like what I'm doing Saturday, I think it's gonna be kind of a lazy day, I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't, I don't have much planned. I know I should do a lot, so maybe we'll add a to-do list if we're feeling ambitious here, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So yeah, we'll stick this down, but if I don't get to anything, there's no judgment. This is a judgment-free zone. This is a judgment-free planner. It's like the Planet Fitness of planners. That's, that's what this is. So yeah, here we are, moving into Sunday. I know I need to film some stuff, so we'll put a nice big block for that. This marker seems to be on its way out. So time to buy some more uh, paper mates because you know you gotta get something that writes nice on your Chrisanne designs. So yeah, we are almost out of our paper and clips. Again, I think this is also a a, um, a sticker shop that has gone the way of the dodo, if you will, as they say. So we'll probably do this midday, if I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, towards the end of the day here. And then I'll probably edit in the evening, because that's just probably a smart thing to do. To me, what I've realized is uh, the best way to edit is when you have it fresh in your mind what you just filmed, because I feel like sometimes you can get confused. So I'll throw this over here. And then what I will do is add one of these cute little uh, LJ Jumble. They're the little uh, koala bears. I'll toss him over here. Well, Maybe we'll go here. Yeah, that fits, right? Perfect. And then I'm going to take this thing here that just says, oh, where'd it go? Which one is it? The jamming on my planner thing. And we'll throw this here as well. You know, because that's what you're doing, right? I'll have, I grocery shopped, I think. I guess I need to figure that out. I didn't put that on the list. But um, what we will do here is we'll throw on the sticker that says, I have too many stickers said no one ever because ain't that the truth sis um maybe that will be something for the to-do list on saturday is get myself some groceries because that seems that seems like a good thing to do and what i'm also going to do is add the little uh instagram camera here from the cute little icons but yeah i mean that's the week let's go ahead and tackle the sidebar and then we'll call this whole week dunzo i believe that seems to be the best way to do it you know what i might do is take that one um the green guy that didn't fit and throw that over this piece yeah that works kind of nice doesn't it okay and then let's see I know that there's some cute, yeah, so we've got them here. Uh, we'll do to-do. I'll kind of take that and float it up here, try to give myself some more real estate. And then, what do you say, we do, I guess this is a long list, huh? See, now that I feel like I have to move this back down, because, Yeah, that's better. I think what I'll do is to save real estate, I'll add a little bit of, um, I'll do either a smaller box or kind of layer them over each other. So then we'll pick the next one of this week. We'll do the little guy in purple. Don't mind me like trying to think through this as I go because it's not, there's no logic to it. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you think there is a lot of logic to it, then I'm faking it well. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out what works best in here for me this week. Okay, see, I like that, so it like joins them together. I think we should do some habit trackers, since I know there's a few left. Is there a way to fit daily spending? Maybe that's what we do instead. Oh, yeah. Where are the habit trackers? Okay, yeah, there's three of them stacked on the bottom, so. There another short list we could use? Short, nope, I used all the short checklists. I'll find something else to stick in there. Let's see, yeah, let's stack these. We'll start with the purple first, because it's the most contrast to the, to the It's a Planner thing. All right, so we've got one. 
and I love that bright, vibrant green. Isn't that, that is just stunning. Come on. And there you have it. Love it. And we'll do a get it done for these guys here. But you know what? Let's add this kind of rainbow blackout. Okay. I love it. Okay, cool. That turned out great. And this is the crazy part about this is like we've got so, I'll flip over and zoom out so you can, well I guess I don't have to zoom out much, right? <laughs> There's still so much left. Like, so there it is in all its glory. Oh, I'm so excited. That's so stinking cute. But think about all the, I mean, if anything changes throughout the week, I can add it in, but I've got some of this left. We've got bits and pieces here that I can use. Look at all the extra, like, the icons. And, like, again, it's just, it's crazy how much stuff you got with this kit. I feel like, God, there's so many more things I can, like, still add here, there, and everywhere. So, so yeah, that's gonna about wrap up this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. It does help our channel out. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so you can catch all of my content in your feed as soon as it's published. I'm over on Instagram at a man with the plans. Hope we can connect over there. I love a good reel and sharing those things. So hope you have an excellent week and I will catch you later. Bye planner friends.